The next in our series of 10 players you forgot played for is Dundee United. If you haven't checked out the rest of them, then you can in our list playlist on this very YouTube channel, but do so after watching this one. This video is all about Dundee United though, so let's focus on them. I'll be going through 10 players who have put on the tangerine shirt of Dundee United over the years that either he didn't make an impact or he possibly forgot was even on the books at the club. On the list are some names I was surprised even played for Dun United, so let's see if you remember any of the names on the list playing for the club. Make sure to hit that like button so this video reaches as many people as possible, and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. My name's Stephen, this is Scottish Football Daft, and this is 10 players you forgot played for Dun United. Hope you enjoy. Number 10, Danny Granger. Danny Granger, probably more familiar to Hearts and St Johnson fans than he is to Dun United fans, Granger won the Scottish Cup with Hearts and made over 100 league appearances for St Johnson, but his impact at Dun United wasn't the same. Granger joined Dun United in January 2008 from Gretna and did enjoy a good spell on the team towards the end of the 2007-2008 season. He would, however, find games much harder to come by the following season and would only make nine starts in the SPL in the 2008-2009 season before leaving for St Johnson for the start of the 09-10 season. Granger would only make 23 league appearances for Dun United overall. Number 9, James Grady. James Grady, probably more known for being a good striker for United City rivals Dundee, but he did venture across the street later on in his career and play for Dun United as well. Grady joined Dun United in the summer of 2004 after a prolific season in the top flight with Partick Thistle. Things wouldn't go so well for Grady at Dun United as he would only score two goals in 29 league appearances for the club and then would end up leaving the club and dropping down a couple of divisions though probably getting more money when he joined Grena. Number 8, Roy O'Donovan. Roy O'Donovan wasn't the man who was the star of the Sky Atlantic show that was Roy Donovan. Roy was an Irish striker who some pro probably never heard of before watching this list, and that's fair enough. O'Donovan joined Dun United on loan from Sunderland in August 2008 for the season, so there was some expectation that the striker would bag some goals. Bag some goals he did not do. He would get his only league goal in 11 appearances against St Mirren in a 2-0 win in October 2008. His loan would be terminated in January 2009 and he would return to Sunderland before joining Blackpool for the rest of the season. Number 7, David Proctor. David Proctor made his name as an Inverness Cali Thistle player and after an initial good spell in the Highlands it made Dun United come calling for the right back in 2006 with Craig Brewster bringing him to the club after managing him at Inverness. Proctor struggled to make any kind of impact at Dun United, only making 12 league appearances with Brewster being sacked early in his spell going against him. Proctor would go out on loan to Airdrie United and then in 2007 he would end up back at Inverness on a permanent deal. Number 6, Jim O'Brien. Jim O'Brien started his career at Celtic but would probably be known more in Scottish football for his time at Motherwell. While still on the books with Celtic he was sent out on loan a couple of times in one of those loan spells came in 2008 when O'Brien signed for Dun United. O'Brien would go on to make 10 league appearances for Dun United but would make little impact at the club and he would go back to Celtic in the summer and then move to Motherwell on a permanent deal. Number 5, David Fernandez. David Fernandez burst into the Scottish football scene by producing exciting displays for Livingston but saw him earn a move to Celtic. The Celtic move didn't work out for Fernandez and he would end up back on loan at Livingston and then after being released from Celtic, he joined Dun United in the summer of 2005 on a three-year deal. After making 30 league appearances and scoring five goals, he was told he wouldn't feature much under new manager Craig Brewster, and he would leave after only one season into his three-year deal. Number four, Nicky Weaver. Nicky Weaver had enjoyed a 10-year spell with Manchester City, but after his time was up in Manchester, he struggled to find a permanent home. He spent two years with Charlton before signing a short-term contract with Dun United in August 2009. Apparently Dun United fans took Weaver to their hearts, but I have zero memory of Weaver being in the Dun United shirt, so for that reason alone I decided to include him on this list, before you start on the comments. Weaver would make 18 league appearances for Dun United before his contract expired in January 2010. He would rock up again in Scottish football when he signed for Aberdeen in 2013, but would only make two league appearances. Probably should have included him in an Aberdeen video. Number 3, Mark de Vries. Mark de Vries announced his arrival in Scottish football in a Hearts jersey when he bagged four goals in a 5-1 win 
in the Edinburgh Derby against Hibs at Tynecastle in August 2002. De Vries signed by Craig Levine would follow the former Scotland manager to Leicester, and when Levine rocked up at Dun United, that meant only one thing. Yes, Mark De Vries would follow. De Vries signed for Dun United in January 2008 after getting an early release from his Leicester contract. De Vries would get his first goal for Dun United in the League Cup final defeat to Rangers and netted his first league goal six days later against Motherwell. De Vries would only score two league goals and 13 league appearances before he would leave at the end of his contract in June 2008. Number 2. Russell Latape Russell Latape was a name I certainly wasn't expecting to see on a Dun United list. Latape made his name in Scottish football with the likes of Hibs, Rangers and Falkirk, but he did have a very short and forgettable spell with Dun United. Latape left Rangers in January 2003 and signed for Dun United until the end of the 2002-2003 season. He would make seven league appearances for the club, but wouldn't go on the score sheet. He would leave the club in the summer of 2003 and would then go on to join Falkirk and have a much better time of it. Number 1. Rodney Snyder Rodney Snyder has that unwelcome thing that you're only really known for because of your more famous and more talented brother. In his case, his brother Wesley had played for the likes of Real Madrid, but Rodney was certainly not on his level. He joined the United to much fanfare because of his last name in July 2015, but after only making one league appearance for the club, coming on as a sub against Aberdeen, he would be released in August 2015 with the club saying they had a responsibility to protect his health moving forward. He had returned to the Netherlands with a viral infection according to reports, but who knows what the real reason was why he left so early.